All right, it's Bronze Bird. And, um, you know, something that's been on my mind for a long time, which is something I've advocated for, for brothers to do, you know, is terms of us becoming better with the society, you know, with the letdown. And especially, I know this time of year, uh, a panel that I did on before where I touched upon how a lot of people suffer from seasonal affective disorder or seasonal affective depression, SAD, S-A-D. Uh, you know, besides that, you know, I wanted to get into the groove of making so-called black men understand that it's very, it's much a lot of things you can do in order to improve your mental. I've always advocated for so-called black men to have their own therapy groups, to have a, a men support group, be able to go outside, you know, get some fresh air, call your friend when you need to call him and be able to have sit down conversations about life. And so one of the things I remember doing, I remember doing a video where I was basically giving out the point that doing certain activities doesn't mean it has to be related to another race. It's just an activity. So I was basically harping on the fact that so-called black men should feel grateful or should feel it's an excellent idea to do things like hiking. In which I've known I've had conversations with people around in my neighborhood and had conversation with different people's family members and all these different things. And they view certain activities that I do as white people shit. <laughs> and for the longest time, I've never understood, like, why does it have to be white people doing these type of things? Why can't it just be an activity? See, the 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 minority mindset where you believe that, you know, that's not. It's an insult to do things that the particular race, the so-called white people do, is um, weird and it's different and all these different things, but they never understand the benefits of what these white people activities could bring upon for other people. You understand? And the thing about it is even traveling. It's it's so bad within the psyche, especially of so-called black men, that they view certain activities such as traveling or leaving their state or hometown as you know, white people things or trying to relate the complexities of these activities to so-called white people. So my whole point is, is that today we're going to be reviewing a video of a so-called black man who decided to start an organization in which I'm grateful for. Um, I've always advocated for this because it's one of my favorite activities besides skateboarding and other things of that sort, where we, we advocate for black men hiking in which there's a lot of different things that things like hiking can do alongside meditation and, uh, you know, different things, enjoying life, enjoying nature and stuff like that. And, you know, it gives you a peace of mind. So I definitely do congratulate this brother for creating an organization in which I encourage more black men to create organizations to help out the mentality of black men in this society, because it is something that we should talk about, especially when we view that so-called black men in particular have the highest rate of deletion, self-deletion in society. So I definitely always am going to advocate and champion for different avenues that so-called black men can take in order to regulate and maintain their mental so that they don't have to go off the deep end and feel like life is over because they're dealing with a particular situation and they have no other exit but to actually exit this life. So, peep. Amid the serene beauty of the Santa Monica Mountains, where the lush hillside gives way to the sea, an unconventional gathering. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, welcome to Black Men Hike. Nearly 60 black men here for something hard to find in the brick and mortar of Los Angeles. Black Men Hike is a safe space for us to kind of enjoy nature, enjoy each other, and uh, just, you know, uh, fellowship. In and, you know, I'm going to get a little bit personal in terms of what hiking has done for me, especially rolling around with friends when times got tough or even when times didn't get tough. You know, the, the benefits that I've experienced off of hiking was just being able to appreciate nature, more likely because I'm one of those type of dudes that enjoy going out to different places, viewing different cities, sub suburbs, and, you know, getting along and looking at the trees, the plants, the animals, you know, seeing Bambi out in the woods, 
<laughs> luckily not seeing the forest bear fire and the, the 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 bear out there you know what i'm saying the forest bear that be having a hat and stuff like that and luckily enough i have not seen a bear out there because you know my ass could have got clawed up but that's another story for a different day you know seeing the different things that nature offers going along the trailblazers and you know looking at the different courses and what what hiking definitely can do for man is understanding the challenges it's supposed to be a figurative type of activity where the whole entire point is to get through the journey tenfold and through those journeys you have rocks you have obstacle courses you have branches that's pulled down you have to jump over it you have to keep on going throughout the journey of these trailblazers in order to establish yourself as a man and get through it the best way you know how and that's a symbolism for life no matter how rough life gets, you have to keep on going. You don't stop in the middle of a trail. You don't stop in the middle of this journey. You keep on going. You find the trailblazers still to guide you and you get to the end of the journey, which means you complete it exactly what you wanted to complete. That doesn't mean it's a symbolism for, you know, that's the end of your life. It's the end of what you are looking to accomplish and you accomplished it. That's the whole time, entire point. 2017, Jelani Natty, an accountant by trade, moved to Los Angeles from Akron, Ohio, and at the urging of his wife, ventured out onto the trails of Southern California. <laughs> at first I was hesitant, and as I started to hike, I started to feel something. I started to feel recharged. Um, I started to feel lighter, and it was something that I wanted to kind of share with my community. In 20 And my thing is, um, you know, <laughs> speaking personally again, I know for sure that, you know, especially with so-called black men, we are still children of the sun. And, you know, it would definitely be a perfect time when, you know, you have these different things that's going on out in the world. And then, you know, again, like I said, a lot of us can suffer from SAD during the winter months. So, you know, find that time when it's the appropriate weather to go outside and go throughout these journeys, because it does something to your mind. It does something to you. The more you walk, the more you, you know, have the sun hitting your face, and you know you're you're going on these different um paths and stuff like that it helps out a lot it helps out a lot trust me 2019 he invited five friends to go hiking and began black men hike thank you for coming to our last hike of the year each month on the first saturday a group gathers in a different location in southern california i would suggest you if you are a brother of a certain age, you might want to do a little bit of stretching before we get started. <laughs> Introductions are made and intentions are set. I come to this really for the fellowship. <laughs> and then the group sets off. Are you enjoying this hike, the nature? It's wonderful. Way to Hayden spends his days at the Los Angeles City's Attorney's Office, but for Black Men Hike, he's an yeah. ambassador. We didn't realize how important it was for all of us to have some time to spend with each other. We didn't realize how important the interconnection between each other really was. And it's not just about community. In a society where black men often struggle with high blood pressure, depression, and higher rates of stress and isolation, it's a chance in like company to nourish mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. Hikes often begin as a jovial march, but as you duck under trees, navigate winding narrow trails, and go up, up, and up, you realize that this hike is not the proverbial walk in the park. It's for real. <laughs> this is not, this is not a... And that's the whole entire point of it. I mean, I've always been one to actually look at those type of moments inside of the hiking journey as ones that I enjoy the most, in which, you know, hiking more and more, you would think like, okay, you started the flat surfaces. You just think like, oh yeah, you know, whatever. You know, it's going to be cool. But as soon as you hit those hills and you hit those narrow trails and then you see that tree bark, that tree branch has fallen, you're sitting back like, whoa, what is this? See, and that's the whole entire point. But what did I say earlier? You got to keep on going. Now, if you watch my videos yesterday, this would have been a perfect setting for those so-called black men that was on that show for them to be able to experience a brotherhood, to experience other men around them that look just like them have the same lineage as them, and be able to congregate together so that they can have an understanding about life. And I bet you, one of the brothers wouldn't even be into alcohol if he had the chance to do it. He would have something to look forward to every first of the Saturday in his town if Black man hiking was in his city or in where wherever he's from. You understand? 
like leisurely hike. And that's on purpose. The exertion and the environment quickly strip away any pretense and inhibitions. How are people feeling so far about this? Start to regret it a little bit, huh? Can't go back. Can't go back, though. Can't go back now. But after more than an hour heading up, the payoff. I'm like, yo, this is why I got out of bed. <laughs> All right, fellas, we made it to the top. Clap yourself up. A sense of accomplishment, a moment to meditate. You gotta take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Deep breath in. Like in the view. And a breathtaking view. And that's one of the things I also enjoyed is, a, like the narrator said, you know, it's the big payout. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the top of the hill, the top of the hill, and you start overlooking the whole entire scenery of wherever you're at and being able to see the forest land and city landscape and all these different things is always a big payout. But what does that big payout transfer to in your so-called life, right? Your life, your journey, everything that you've accomplished, everything that you've wanted, the big payout, it rewards you tenfold. That's what the universe is supposed to do. Everything you put out in the universe and you go for it and you work hard, the payout is grandiose. So you got to keep on going. I got to keep on going. Your friends got to keep on going. Your family has to keep on going. But so-called black men, you are definitely not alone in this journey <laughs> when it comes to this life. The, the minor setbacks and all these different things, I tell dudes all the time, things is temporary. You got to just keep on going because there's always a solution to every single problem that you have, regardless if you think so or not. What do you love most about doing this? I think... Um... With a lot of things that's going on in the world, sometimes, um, particularly for black men, it, it becomes challenging. Um, so, you know, the opportunity to come out here and for us to, you know, meditate and have conversation and hold each other accountable, if I think it's just a powerful moment for us to uh, really connect. It's an outdoor fraternity, a tribe. What do you think draws people to this experience? The fact that there's not a lot of safe spaces for black men to congregate and get together and talk about the things that they go through um, and it's just an opportunity to unplug. Finding in nature something that can be difficult to find at home. To have an opportunity to do it with a bunch of black men, I think that is the draw and then the brotherhood that it creates, man, it's priceless. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Black men It was a beautiful experience a really great time but I was not putting on for the cameras that hike was a lot more than I expected Aww. I should say uh, this year black men hike became a 501 c3 which does Good. give them an opportunity to expand into more communities and allows them to offer a few different programs something I know that they are so excited about is that group is really blowing up in popularity guys I bet Back so that's great it's a great idea I know and yeah. I hope they can and that's the end of the video. Um, I definitely want to see more of these type of groups spawn up. I definitely do think that is, this is one of the many things that so-called Black men can have at their disposal when they feel like there's a lot of things that's going on or want to be around other men to bond and just need that, that pick-me-up, that cheer-up type of thing when times is just hard or times is good. I definitely don't want to harp on. It has to be something where you know, black men need to be sad all the time and you're going to this to be your muse. It should just be your muse to be your muse, whether you're sad, happy, in between, because the brotherhood is important. And, you know, we need to have our each other's back when it comes to things. Now, I know a lot of brothers on these, these websites and in these chats, you know, they get up on panels and they sit up there and say the brotherhood this, the brotherhood is that, you know, but the internet can only do but so much. At the same time, we can all have a conversation all day long about men importance, but there's definitely different things we need to use to our disposal to, you know, let out our energy, being able to just be able to be around each other in company and not feel like we have to compete against each other or yell or, you know, be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that I've always said again about hiking, it always does something, always offer something. You feel an adrenaline rush. You feel something from it. You know what I'm saying? You're being able to go on these different trails and, you know, you can't stop until you get to that big old top at the hill and you know you get to see the city landscape and it's worth it trust me it's worth it so otherwise than that make sure you give me your thoughts in the comment section like subscribe share peace